Airports use full body scanners, metal detectors, and facial recognition technology to detect threats. Now, add in thermal screeners and facial imaging to detect a threat that's invisible to the naked eye, COVID-19. Kimberly Speakman has more on the new additions to Hawaii airports. The State Department of Transportation says new thermal screening equipment will be installed at five airports across the state. This is what the thermal screening cameras will look like. One camera lens is a thermal screener, while the other works to detect faces and bodies. A total of 116 thermal cameras will be rolled out at Daniel K. Noe International Airport, Kahului Airport, Lehue Airport, Ellison Onizuka Kona International Airport at Keahole, and Hilo International Airport. When they disembark, they'll basically encounter an area with signage that says thermal screenings taking place here, and they just proceed as normal. If a person's temperature is 100.4 degrees or over, an operator monitoring the cameras will see this on their screen and be alerted. And at that point, the person who's uh, operating the system will uh, locate the individual who should be standing right there, uh, right near them, and notify them of uh, the, the temperature reading. And basically, they will be taken to a location where they can have a secondary screening. The full system will be rolled out in phases. In phase one, thermal screeners will be placed at gates for arriving Trans-Pacific flights. They will then be added at inter-island arrival gates in phase two. In phase three, additional facial imaging equipment will be added so that they won't need as many operators. The facial monitoring system has raised some concerns with privacy, but Weiss says... The data is temporary. So uh, passengers, after they're scanned, and it, their data is only retained if their temperature reads at 100.4 or greater. And at that point, it's only retained for 30 minutes. Weiss says phases one and two will be completed by mid-August. And the final phase will be completed by the end of the year. We'll follow up with the DOT on the installation process. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.